Oh, hi, I'm Tom Burnett. Philip Foster was my great-great-grandfather, and this is a farm that he founded in 1847. I'm Joanne Burnett Broadhurst, Tom's sister, and again, a great-great-granddaughter of Philip and Mary Charlotte Foster. September 16, 1852. Mr. Foster has accommodations for immigrants and their stock. He has a store to supply them with provisions, and he boards a great many at his own table. Philip Foster had a store. This is a replica of the store that exists today. There were three gentlemen who had actually seen the original store when they were children, and they got together and developed consensus of what it looked like and got plans drawn up for it. When Tom builds a building like this, he uses the old traditional methods he learned how to make mortise and tenons so that he could build the barn uh, addition and the cabin and also the machine, wagon shed with all the old materials that we've collected over the years. One of the things that we really have to keep up on here is keeping our wagons in good shape. And got a collection of, <coughs> of parts from, from old wagons. This wagon here particularly, the wheels are falling apart and we're going to have to figure out how to get those rebuilt. This is a replica of Foster's blacksmith shop. Surely he had one, although we don't have any specific records of where it was. They had to make all their own square nails to build their buildings, fix their wagons, all the kind of things that you had to do by yourself because they were here so early that there was no other services. One of the major things we uh, do is work with the, all the local grade schools and present what we call Pioneer Life Tours. They come out and they go through a program of, their, of stations and where they can get hands-on duties, play things, work things, so they have an idea of what Pioneer children had to do. We have a number of events during the summer, starting with a Father's Day barbecue, a garden party, a Pioneer dinner and barn dance, and silent auction as a fundraiser. And, and we also have, at the end of the season, a cider squeeze, where people can bring their apples and make their own cider. Telemarketer call and ask, is Philip Foster there? And, and the response, no, he died in 1884, he says, can I speak to his wife? <laughs> See new places, meet new friends, and make your own memories in Oregon's Mount Hood territory. Check out our other videos and start planning your visit today.